Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, thank you for the support. Thank you for the like and subscription. Much, much, much appreciated. So today the video is about uh, the PI, the police interceptor look. Um, I'm going to go in depth and show you guys what I changed, how it looked and, and all that good stuff. Don't forget to like, subscribe, but you do want to subscribe for sure because I got another trim that I've been working on that I'm going to unveil pretty soon and you don't want to miss it. So buckle up, let's go. Alright, so that's the haul for today. It's a load of PI parts with a load of headlights. Um, got plenty of them to customize and clean up and push out. But, um, I mean, you have hubcaps, you got floor mats, you got thermostat. You got the, the LED marker, uh, fog light or whatnot. You have the push bar. We already have the bracket. Um, you have the lower lip for the regular shows. You have the full police interceptor grill and um, and bumper cover. Um, we have the mounting brackets for the bumper on the side. Got a bunch of them. Um, we even have a <laughs> a full manual. Um, but yeah, this was a really, really good haul. Um, I'm going to start taking you guys on the trip. Every time I go down there, I'll show you guys what I find. Show you guys what to look for. If anybody's interested and helps somebody, that will be great. But, uh... That's going to be going into that bad boy right there. So, the next step, while we finish the, the engine, because um, it's, it's going to come out, there's something that's going to go on there. But, uh, in the meantime, we're going to do other things. Um, we're going to fully um, do the, we're going to do the facelift on the front. Um, do it 13 and up. Uh, we're going to customize the headlights. Um, we are going to uh, add up an LED emblem on the grill as well. And that is going to go pretty well with this team. I'm not sure if I want to put that push bar. I don't know. We'll see. There's a debate on that. <laughs> Let me know in the comment what you think. But like I said in my previous video, the beauty of the show is the fact that you can pretty much have two cars in one okay and i'm saying that because you have the interior of a show you have the motor of a show where we had the exhaust done there and you get to have the pi look now the tires are definitely kevlar tires so they that's the real deal um the suspension as well since when I did the rebuild, I went ahead and upgraded all the suspensions. Um, talking about the, the springs and, you know, all the way to the, to the, to the brake pads. Uh, those are all from a PI, which had a heavy-duty um, heavy duty suspension package. Um, that's the route we're going to take. Uh, I'm not going to... I already finished the headlight, <clears throat> but I'm not going to mount it because the engine has to get out. We, 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 there's some changes coming up that way. We talk about it in another video, and um, yeah, like I said before, don't forget to check out the video for that. I think it looks really good, and uh, it's not invasive at all. As soon as I get the OBD2 on there, I'm gonna let it go. So for now, we're gonna keep on running that engine, um, but there's something else coming up that we're working up, and. When that's all said and done, um, the car is going to go up in the air and it's going to be out of service for about a month maybe. Because I have plenty of battles that I'm fighting right now. So definitely appreciate you guys. Appreciate your support. Um, the comments section is quiet. People still messaging me from the, the Facebook group. Um, but yeah, guys. Um, it's all fun, but um, definitely <clears throat> going to 
get all this good stuff in there and we're gonna get this baby looking awesome so guys as i promised that's the look you get pretty much here is with a 1012 hood uh, i did not change the hood yet uh, that's pretty much what you will be looking at uh, it's not gonna fit as flush as possible on the hood because the shape is not the same uh, we have a leak there which is a different content but going back to what I was saying uh, it's gonna look decent uh, I went ahead and I made some changes as well as far as the accent uh, on the lights and things like that go ahead and check out my initial videos they're all in the Fortress playlist you should be able to uh, have a little bit of insight, at least an idea on how I got it done. I can guarantee you it's super, super affordable. I also went ahead and I did some changes on the inside. I love that inside. It's my favorite interior on a lot of vehicles that I've had or worked on. I mean, if you're a suede kind of guy, that is what you want. Now, I went ahead and I changed that. You can see it. It's off a limited. Uh, Taurus or Aurus. <laughs> I know the T gets messed up a lot, but uh, I'll go ahead and I'll take that out pretty much by putting a thread behind the letters and wheeling it out. Um, I also have this aftermarket uh, logo that I can go ahead and put on there uh, if I so choose. But yeah, it's definitely, definitely doable. Uh, again, I love how it matches the suede. You can see how the brown would look matches that suede pretty well uh if you look at it from from afar you know you can see how it kind of matches with that brown and i think it, it's a good route to go if you're a wood kind of guy and a suede kind of guy that gives you that little classy look uh if you so need now if you haven't checked the video uh regarding the radio as well go ahead and uh check it out and you will have a lot of good information now uh, before i forget going back to the headlights okay uh, as you can see i went ahead and i did that headlight facelift um, if you haven't checked out the headlight video go ahead and do so uh, you have a lot of good information regarding the connectors if you're going from a 1012 to a 13 plus um, you will need that now this is the look with the hood on pretty much i went ahead and i installed the hood or 13 plus uh, everything else fits uh, I haven't installed that little um, cover that sits on top of the the grill. Uh, when I do, it will just be flush. Okay, so that little gap in the front won't be there. But guys, look at that tuxedo black on that hood. I mean, it looks gorgeous. Look at those clouds. Uh, I mean, I the reason why I also stuck around with that red accent is because you don't want to be tagged with impersonating a police officer. You don't want to do that. So I would definitely recommend throwing up an accent in there just to kind of throw it off or give it your own, you know, but you don't want to be tagged with impersonating a police officer. But I definitely like the look. I mean, I don't see much of a difference uh, with the bumper. I don't know if you do, but let me know what you got. Uh, did you, do you have a bumper from a third, I mean, a hood from a 13 up or not? Um, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Don't forget to like, subscribe for the next content, and I'll see you guys in the next one.